You guys ready for true terror? Fear in a video game never seen before. Are you ready? I'm ready. Raph and I just saw what you posted in Discord, dude. Those minis look sick. Love the color scheme. Really fucking cool, man. I love that. Like they've adapted to the cold. It's cool. The time I blew myself. Yeah. <laughs> You're a Steel Series man. If I had to go with a brand, I'd probably choose Corsair. I like Corsair. But I'll just go with whatever works. Um. Now, what I do need to do quickly is I need to pull up. Uh. Uh. Hold one second. Uh, hold. Just, just, just hold on one second. Hold, hold on. Hold, hold on one second. Let me just. Let me hold on. You guys, just, just hold on. Uh. Fear. Hugo's House of Horrors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> CTCB. You can play this on piano, really? <laughs> So, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen this game before, um, <laughs> this is Shigo's House of Horrors. <laughs> CTCB, good to see you, mate. Thanks for joining us. Um, already had discussions. Have we had discussions? We haven't had discussions, have we? Um, Look, you are, oh wait, sorry. What we should do is instructions. Welcome to Hugo's House of Horrors. The story so far, you are in total control of Hugo's destiny as he searches the haunted house for his sweetheart, Penelope. She was last seen going into this house on a babysitting assignment. Control Hugo's motion with the arrow keys. You should also give him simple commands Pick up or look at something which catches your eye. A very useful phrase would be open the door. On your travels, be on the lookout for useful or valuable objects. They may very well help you in your quest for Penelope. Keep your wits about you since not everything is necessarily as it seems. Some notes on the function keys. Yeah, F2, toggle the sound on and off. F9 is the boss button. For people who like to sneak in a game... <laughs> the boss button. So if you're playing this at work, you can quickly hit a button and it'll... <laughs> and it'll hide the game. <laughs> That's Hugo's House of Horrors. Oh, CT, you're the fucking one with the question about longest time in development. Yeah. I got words for you about that question for another day. <laughs> uh, look. You are in front of the house where Penelope was last seen. If you are to rescue her, you must find a way inside, no matter what lies ahead. Go home. Try walking there. <laughs> Uh, leave Penelope. <laughs> Doesn't understand what you mean. <laughs> uh, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> it never said longest in development. No, it did. How do we, we got to save Penelope. <laughs> 16 years for Beyond Good and Evil 2. Damn. 3,000 questions. Oh, I don't mean the whole thing. Oh, that's true. Beyond Good and Evil 2 hasn't released yet. It's got to be from conception to release. 
Good call. Um, uh, we want to get in the house. So let's... It's very quiet, this game. Uh, look door. Why not try opening it? Okay. Open door. It is locked. <laughs> Knock door. Harry Dresenden, what's going on? New Year's Eve. I don't stream on New Year's Eve anymore, but I could. <laughs> Almost 30 years old. Yeah, fuck, same. Nobody answers. Okay. Uh, um, climb window. You try but fail miserably. Kick door. You should try to be more constructive. <laughs> Jingle handle, you know. <laughs> um, look window. I can see no more than you can. Check mat. The doormat? Doormat. Key. Look key. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> I can't even get into the fucking house. Are you kidding me? Um, you've had discussions with this developer, really? He makes online jigsaw games now. That's fun. Yeah, chimney. Climb chimney. Burn house down. Oh, a pumpkin? Look. Pumpkin. There appears to be something inside it. Uh, open pumpkin. Okay. The pumpkin breaks open to reveal a key. Okay. Uh, get key. I have the key. Use key. Unlock door. Okay. Open do door. And then can we... We're in. It's very quiet. I don't know if we need to have like audio or something. Hey Luke, what's up, man? Okay. Um, that guy just went upstairs. Let's follow him. Enjoying the sunshine? Nice, man. Luke's in Spain at the moment. Very cool. What the fuck is going on in here? The mad professor speaks. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over the house for you. Look. You're late and we haven't much time. Step into the box and we'll begin the experiment. The professor beckons you to step into the large cubicle in the center of the room. Oh, I can't see how this could possibly go wrong. Good, says the professor. Okay, Igor, press the blue button. Igor grumbles something incoherent and deftly presses the red button. You idiot, Igor, roars the professor. That's all I need, a colorblind imbecile for an assistant. Oh dear, I've got my headache coming on again. I've had enough hassle for one day. I'm going to go have a lie down. The professor storms off, leaving you alone with Igor. Oh, I'm tiny. Look, Igor. He has a certain charm, I suppose. Kick, Igor. Yeah, what did he do to me? Speak, Igor. He's good at taking orders, but he's not much of a conversationalist. Tell Igor, button. Try walking there. Igor, press, button. Deftly presses the yellow button. Hey, 
Hey, I'm back. I'm a man again. I'm walking funny. <laughs> I'm walking funny. Echo, what's up, man? Igor Button. Igor Button. Igor Press Button. Green Button. I'm covered in blood. What did he do to me? Oh, no, it wasn't blood. I'm all covered in holes. Igor, press button. The blue button. That was the button he was meant to press from the get-go. Am I good? Am I back to normal? Press. E oh, wait. Igor... Igor, enter box. Igor, go inside. Igor, Igor in box. Press blue button. I think you better leave that to Igor, okay. Kiss Igor. Lick Igor. <laughs> okay. I can't have sex with Igor. It was worth a go, though. All right. That was fun. Uh, open door. Bathroom. 333. Three, three. Look. Mirror. Number three, three, three. Okay. Look, window. The outline of a shed below and amongst some trees. Okay. Look, toilet. I'd rather not. Fair enough. Look, oh. look, bath. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Open door. What's in here? Look, closet. Open closet. Look, what's that? Look, ground. I don't know. What to pick up. What is that? Can you see what that is? Look. Touch. Grab. Looks like a head. Get head. Imagine if it was that easy. Looks like a monkey's. I'm just gonna put on some like music in the background just because it's it's oddly quiet. <laughs> Um, what do we, what do we need? Severed head of a Muppet. Yeah. Anyway, just, just, just something, something quiet. Yeah, that works. You can't hear it in the VOD or YouTube, but it's, it's good. Okay. What is that? Look. Bed. You get down on your hands and knees and peer under the bed to find absolutely nothing. Sleep. Get in bed. You got a new hot sauce? Am I asking? Um... If you know, don't tell me. But if you don't know, it's I, I'm I'm cool with like working it out with everybody. But if you actually know, like don't tell me. That's no fun. See, 
Look down. Is it a jar? Get jar. Get item. Look closet. I don't know what that is. Eat honey. Is it honey? Head? I don't know what the fuck that is. Not a lot of rooms to Hugo's House of Horrors. What if we go straight through? Oh, wait. Look. Table. What's on the table? It's a candle. Get candle? Okay, I have a candle. Can I use the candle to see in the closet, maybe? What's down here? Look. There's a little... I took candle. <laughs> I don't see anything much in here. There's a little pen knife laying in the dust on the floor. Next to it is a little silver whistle. Get knife. Get. Whistle. Wonder what the whistle is for. Look, okay. Use candle. Inventory. Okay, I thought maybe I could see the things that I have. I don't want to quit. I got a candle, a knife. Get broom. We're going to do some sweeping, are we? Hey, the broom must be gripped by some magical powers. Despite your best efforts, you can't budge it. Hey, Toxic, how you doing, man? Can we stop? Jesus, not running very well. Open. Look. This is the kitchen. You can hear the sound of a feast or something going on in the room to the right. A feast, huh? <laughs> I've seen this screen before. Look. A feast is in full swing here in the dining room. Some of the guests look rather ugly. Something tells me this is not a good place to be. Unless, of course, you want to end up on the dinner plate. Talk? Oops. Very good, sir. Oh. You're not one of us. You're a blooming interloper. Come here, you little blighter. I'm going to chop your head off. Who's going to chop my head off? It appears your game is up, so to speak. The, the butler deftly slices your head off with a handy carving knife. I died? I died! Is that... Restart? Restore a save point or quit? I died! No games to restore. Oh my god. Lulu, how you doing? Quit. Oh my god. <laughs> well, fuck. Can I just set a save here? Save game. F5. Intro description. Fresh start. Okay. Get 
Okay. Unlock door. Open door. Go inside. Okay! <laughs> I'm in. The mad scientist is going up to his thing. What if I get the knife? Get candle. And then we look. <laughs> look. Get knife. Lulu, how are you doing? Get, what was it? A whistle. We've got the knife and the whistle. Uh, F4. Get knife, get whistle. Okay. <laughs> Did we get anything from the bathroom? I've got 44 points out of 190 points. That seems good. Right? We're going to do this again. Press the red button. Leaving you alone with Igor. Igor. Oh, wait, I'm small. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can... Use the fact that I'm small. Oh, you can't reach the door handle. <laughs> Igor, press button. <laughs> Feels. <laughs> Igor, press button. This one puts me all holes. Hey, no worries, Mince. Take it easy, man. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. And yeah, you gotta link me that quiz so we can do it sometime. That'll be fun. Okay, F4. Igor buttons. Use knife on Igor. Use whistle. Stab Igor. Kill Igor. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Can't tell me it wasn't worth a go. <laughs> So bathroom, bedroom. So I don't want to go into the dining hall because if I go in there, they're going to kill me. Well, the butler will kill me anyway. Did someone say it looked like a mask up in the bedroom? Who said it looked like a mask? Maybe I need to put the mask on to go in if it's a mask. I didn't check to see if it was a mask. Tanuki, you said it. Open door. Then we go in. Open closet. Is it a mask? Get mask. You, ah! Wear mask. It is indeed a mask. Which means now maybe I can go and sit. Wondering what head-like objects could be, yeah. Maybe now I can go into the dining hall. Is it this room? What even is this game? This is Hugo's House of Horrors. Absolutely terrifying. 
sit. You're not invited. <laughs> Commodore, uh, DOS. Talk. You have to be aware that talking to oneself is the first sign of madness. Speak. Say hello. Look. Butler. Oh. Look. Butler. Okay. Look. Reaper? Uh. Okay, this is good though. Speak? Eat. Think you should wait for the butler to offer you something. Speak, butler. Okay, speak, butler. You're not close enough. What do you mean I'm not close enough? I'm on him. In regards to this was made this I mean this came out in the 90s. This is 1990 I believe actually. Well, he hasn't tried to kill me yet, so that's a win. Speak. What was he offering me? I keep like talking through it. Speak. You're not close enough. Stab Butler. <laughs> okay, I... Why? I'm not sure what he's doing to me. Remove mask. Hey! Outside. To the creepy shed. Uh... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you know, I was joking that this was really scary, but it's kind of it's it's kind of a little scary. Open door. Locked with a combination lock. What's the combination? Uh three three three. Use combination lock. Lock three three three. Use lock. Open lock. Open door. Three, three, three. What's in the shed? Look. The shed seems to have fallen into disuse and is pretty much full of garbage, either broken or rusted to pieces. You were just on the point of leaving when you notice an oil can sitting on a shelf. Take oil can. Okay, I have an oil can and a candle. Oil can. Burn down shed. <laughs> Cover shed in oil. Use oil can. Have no idea what's going on. So, um, our girlfriend Penelope came to this house on a babysitting job and has seemingly gone missing. And now we're in <laughs> looking for her. And that's, that's it so far. Look sink.
What's through here? Fuck was that? Dog? Oh! Use whistle. Use whistle. The dog. Use. Whistle. I got the whistle, didn't I? Look, whistle. It is a little silver whistle. Blow. Whistle. Ah. Ah, <laughs> whoa. Is he a friendly dog? It seems the nice doggy has eaten you all up. <laughs> How you doing, coffee cat? Okay, so I died. Dog? Wear mask? Blow whistle. Okay. So the dog comes to me. Can I lock it outside or something? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is genius. You'll love this. If I go in here, wear a mask, blow whistle oh, oh, he came from the other way dick <laughs> that wasn't very nice <laughs> wear mask blow butler wear, wear mask <laughs> Blow whistle. Oh, he's so fast. Yeah, okay. What can we do? Heck, can we trap the dog? Call the dog at Igor. There's an idea. Maybe Igor doesn't like dogs. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I've got 61 out of... Oh, you can't see the points. Because I've hidden the top of the screen. I have 61 out of 190 points. So far. The high-frequency cosmic radiation emanating from this room knocks your mask onto the floor. You can pick it up again when you come out. Okay.
Igor use button. Igor press button. He's fed up with pressing buttons and refuses. I think you should go while you can. Blow whistle. Not what I thought was going to happen. Blow ego. <laughs> Get mask. Open door. Yeah, maybe maybe do it in the dining room. Open door. Blow whistle. Ooh, what's he doing? Oh, he is trying to get me though. Oh, he's still there. Is he just going to fucking eat me? As soon as I, like, if I, like... Wear mask? Is he going to fucking bum rush me? Whoop! <laughs> Wear mask. Okay, if I go, like, over this side of the room, like maybe the butler will, like, tell him to chill out. Blow whistle. Nothing seems to happen. The butler's following me. Why is the butler following me so intently? Can I get him to follow me out of the room? No. There's a fun Easter egg, yeah? What do I do about the dog? I want to get into that room. It'd be great if I could like lock the dog in the in the shed or something. Blow whistle. Nothing seems to happen. Okay. So if you get too far away, it can't hear you. But if you're in the house. Open. Blow whistle. <laughs> I feel like I can't move fast enough. The butler's right up on me. Not really sure what he wants. Butler? Say? Speak? Look, butler. I don't think you want to mess with this guy. No, but he won't fucking leave me alone. I'm stuck. He's like blocked me into the corner. Stab butler. Use knife, butler. Use knife on... Butler. Kill. Maim. Violence. <laughs> Ugly sailor, what's going on, man? Your, your first name happens to be Whistle? <laughs> Blow Whistle, yeah? Oh, I moved. Nice doggy. Fuck. Fuck! 
Fuck. <laughs> Worth a go. What have I got? A candle? An oil can? A knife? A mask? And a whistle. Combine oil can use oil can empty oil can I tried to pick up the broomstick it doesn't work get broom Despite your best efforts, you can't budget. Use broom. Eat broom. Blow broom. <sighs> okay, here's a concept. Blow whistle. So now the dog's in the main hall. How many dogs you got? Use knife. Look. Knife. Open knife. Hold knife. Eat knife. Seppuku. Mm. This is hard, man. I don't fucking... Like, I have ideas of what I can do, but... I don't know how to... Word it, you know? That small door under the stairs. Well, I looked under there and that's where I got the knife and the whistle from. Blow butler. Bite off penis, throw penis to dog. Do you reckon that would work? Crawling in the hole. Enter. Go in. Try walking there. Look. There's nothing in there. Use candle. Enter hole. Enter. Go. In. Open. Door. Wait. You're not close enough. Climb. Crawl. Hide, sit, shit, jerk it. Just, just die at this point. Hmm. <laughs> I don't fucking know. What do we do? There's a bathroom, a bedroom, Igor's lab, the dining room. We could look around the dining room some more. You had to wait for a gaming magazine to print a walkthrough. Have some answers in the hint section, yeah. Paintings, yeah, I haven't really looked at the paintings. Dinner. Ask. The butler's coming for me again. He's all over me. Hi. Butler. Look, butler. Drink oil. Q. 
You guys says he's not this. You guys spelled oil funny. Oil. Look, but. Blow, butler. Cut, butler. Stab. Knife. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. <sighs> What's that over there in the corner? Can I go over there? Look. Flowers? L Look, flowers. It's pretty, but useless. Same. Look, painting. It is Zelda, Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Cut painting. Cut butler. You're not close enough? Cut butler. You're not close enough. What do you mean? But Cutler. Take glass. Take cup. Take plate. I think you should wait for the butler to offer you something. You're not close enough. You mean I'm not close enough? He's up my fucking dick hole. Oh, not this again. I'm stuck again. Oh, but I walk faster than he does. Okay. So I can, like, dodge him. Look, broom. Pretty, pretty ordinary. Take, broom. What about the food on the table? Look, food. It doesn't look very tempting, besides there's very little left. Look, painting. An exquisitely bad work of art. Look, paintings. Is that just what they all say? Oven? Yeah, we can look in the oven. I looked at the oven. Look, oven. Hearing inside, you find nothing to write home about. Use oven. Open? Open oven. Find nothing interesting inside. Okay. <sighs> Semantics and lack of vocabulary. Well, it's just not quite knowing... It's just not quite knowing what to do. Like, like how, how not, not, not what to do, but how to word things. Like I know what I want to do. <sighs> well, I don't know how to do it. Getting stuck, not knowing slang. Yeah. <laughs> 
I can't imagine there's anything else outside. Uh, take off mask. With voice recognition, fuck. Oh, I can't even bring the mask in with me, okay. What's this? Look. You have arrived in the Mad Professor's laboratory. There's a strange looking box connected to some weird machine with flashing lights. In the left hand corner of the room is a little table with an assortment of odd shaped items on it. Take. Look table. The only th thing you recognize is a useful looking rubber bung. Take bung. Get bung. What the fuck's a bung? You're not close enough. Closed door. Turn the uh, Igor, closed door. Is the glass door blocking it off? Door button. Oh, it's like a cork. Gotcha. How do I fucking... Voice recognition software? Oh my god. Can I... Can I... I don't even know what a bung is! Do I need to be... Look bung. You don't have it. Take bung. <sighs> oh. Do I need to be small? Oh, and I can't re-small myself. I've actually lost points, by the way. I'm at, I'm, uh, I've got 57 points now. We had 60 something before. So maybe I need to start again, get shrunk again. Hey Al, how you doing? Yeah, I need to get into the bunghole. Igor buttons. So if we were to start again, get the, <laughs> yeah, too, too big, <laughs> too big profit. If I was to, okay. I see how this like works now. <laughs> <laughs> like you get locked into a situation you work your way through because like once you know what to do I imagine you can beat this game in two minutes but you've got to you've got to figure out what to do over time that's fun annoying if it's like <laughs> soft lockable but fun what is going on? Oh, you know, man, Schlocktober. Playing some classic, deeply terrifying horror games. Pitsy, I'm very interested in that voice recognition software. If there's like, I imagine there's lots of mods you could do. Bung. Fun word, bung. Anyway. Um, <laughs> fuck! 
<laughs> I'll be debunked king. Yeah, I will be. I hope so. I'd like to be king of the bung. And then I will have multiple bungs and I'll put them in a hole. A little bit evil, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know where some things are. I know where some things are. I've got some ideas. I'm going to work on this bung situation. Uh, but first, I'm going to go for a Siggy. Sit tight. Give me five. I'll leave you with some clips. <laughs> More Hugo's House of Horrors. After this. <laughs> Hi. Oh, welcome back, everybody. Oh, Echo Drone, my man. Dude. Thanks for 15 months of subbing. Thought that would have fixed a thing. Sorry, one second. Uh, Bandy, thank you, man. Um, Echo. This is 15 months, dude. Yeah, don't sub on mobile, everybody. If you if you can avoid it, don't sub on mobile because it costs more. It's not worth it. It costs more and like there's no extra benefits to it. Um... Curious as to why stuff isn't working that should be working. In the meantime, while I wait for stuff to get sorted, let's let's start again from the start. Open pumpkin. Get key. Unlock door. Open door. We're speed running now. Get candle. Huh. Get candle. Get knife. Get whistle. All right. Yeah, I just wonder why. Like what, what in their evolution said that was a good thing? Uh, he makes me small. Right? And then... I can like slip behind here. Ah, <laughs> get bung. Look bung it's round and rubbery i don't know why i want that f4 get bung igor press button Getting bong, Jasteron. Oh, you can't leave the room shrunken down. Igor, press button. Make me normal, Igor. <laughs> Please. Very Maniac Mansion. Never played Maniac Mansion. Is this the bathroom? Yep. Open door. 
getting pretty bunged up in here. Open closet. Nice coffee. Get mask. Okay. Wear mask. The finished version of The Traitors was due to air at series finale this week. It's been delayed because one of their players has been murdered. Ah. Take food. Stab. Okay. <laughs> Care for a chop, sir? Yes. Hands you a juicy looking chop. The butler hands you a juicy looking chop. You can take you take it from him with a polite thank you. Give chop to dog, yeah. Is Maniac Mansion similar to this? It's kind of similar. What's the really tough platformy game? Go Ghosts and Goblins? Chop Get. A parody of sorts. Of the House of Horrors trope in an adventure game form. Right. Ghosts and Goblins is up there. Lion King on the Sega, yeah. I think I played that as a kid. Open. Oh, open door. What's the combination? Three, three, three. Open door. Oh. Look, take oil can. All right. There's a 3D version of Ghosts and Goblins, kind of, called Maximo. Same world, different game. Right. Oil can get. Okay, I'm back where I was, but I've got more stuff. Uh, throw, chop. The dog seems to have caught that. That seems to have seem, seems to have caught the dog's attention. Looks like he's going to be rather busy for a while. Okay. A pretty empty looking room adjoining the kitchen. The only thing of any interest that immediately catches your eyes is a rather large and ugly looking dog. Look rug. Nothing very interesting about it. Lift rug. Was it a trap door? Open. Open door. Open trap door. Appears to be bolted shut. Unlock trap door. Remove bolt. Unlock bolt. The bolt refuses to budge. 
Use oil can on bolt. Oil on bolt. Open bolt. Open trap door. Now we're fucking talking. Was it Sierra? No, it was just one dude, I think. I think this is just like... Like an independent project. I'm not sure. Ghosts and Goblins is meant to be fucking hard though, right? Like that's the thing with Ghosts and Goblins is just bullshit hard. Am I thinking of the right game? Indie shareware, yeah. Look, you are below the house now. The walls appear to be partially hewn out of rock. To the right of the basement is a large, extremely heavy looking door. You can hear the muffled sounds of someone sobbing. Look door. Looking through the door, you can make out your beloved Penelope's tear streaked face. Talk Penelope. Can't speak because she's gagged, right? That makes sense. Hi, Haru. What are you doing? Hi. Looks hand drawn, yeah, like MS Paint sort of thing. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? What do you see? What do your elf eyes see? Okay. What else is there? Is that all that's down here? Is there blood on the floor? Haru, oh, please don't. Anything back here? Don't scratch the screen, please. I know I shouldn't give you attention every time you do it because it just makes you want to do it. Um, can I do anything to the rocks? Look, oh. Whoa. Did the game crash? Oh dear. Thankfully I've got saves. Open trap door. Did I bug it? Was I not meant to end up where I was? Ah. Okay. Now there's music. Yeah, it's still the intro music. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> okay. Open trap door. Broken? Question mark? Okay. Uh, I don't need, I don't have the mask anymore. Do they come and kill me? Gotcha. You seem to have wandered a bit close 
to one of the vampire bats. <laughs> I died. <laughs> okay. So how do we stop vampire bats? Candle? Light candle. I got a knife, a candle. I don't have the mask anymore. I don't have the chop anymore. Whistle. Oops, 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 oops. Blow whistle. Yeah, ultrasonic noises. That makes sense. Oh, they were right there. Blow whistle. Okay. That seems to have had a strange effect on the bats. Well, it did something to them. Blow whistle. What do you know? You appear to have confused the bat's sense of direction. It must be something to do with their sonar-like hearing. Okay. Sonar. Whoa! Uh. Oh boy! You seem to have landed yourself in the clutches of the evil mummy. Since it's curtains for you, you'll never be able to rescue sweetheart. Oh fuck! Fuck! Oh. What the fuck do I do? There's a bag of money on the ground. I don't like that sometimes I start walking really slow, but the rest of the game doesn't. Come on then. Yeah, you fucking bitch. Get money. Gotta get that money. Get cash. Get money, get a stash, get that money, get cash, get that money, get a whole dang stash. Get money. What's in here? Old woman. Look, <laughs> man, you are now in a large open cavern. There's a small underground lake here at the far side of which is some sort of jetty and a very old looking man who appears to be just sitting on the jetty fishing to the far right at the back of the cavern. You can see a tunnel. Talk, man. Shout, man. And swim. You'd be a lot better off in the boat. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. A nice coffee. 
Enter boat. The boat has a hole in the bottom, unless you can plug it with, ah, use bung. Uh. Plug hole. Plug hole with bung. Enter boat. Cut rope. Uh, paddle. Uh, row. The first AI chatbot, yeah. Write me a poem about bananas. I was saved by the coffee. Grim Naka. Is that a re-up of the coffee sub? It certainly seems like it. Naka, welcome back. Thank you. Very, very much, dude. And welcome back to the coffee club. Absolute fucking champion. Thank you, dude. I don't, I don't even know if he's here. Because the coffee's an auto thing, but... Thank you. Fucking oath, man. Uh, push? Ah! Where am I going? Oh, I'm just floating. Hello? Talk. Talk, old man. The old man seems about to speak. Ah, welcome to my lake, my fine young friend. I've been down here for many years, and I've not felt the touch of another man. Take your pants off. <laughs> I am well aware of your quest, and I would have I would hasten you on your way. Before I let you pass, I must satisfy myself that you have the experience to handle the dangers that lurk through yonder passage. I also watched you plug that hole. Mm. <laughs> to this end, you will permit me to test your metal with a few questions, the answers to which will come readily to the lips of any seasoned adventurer. Be warned! However, that I can only accept your first answer. Okay. The, he must satisfy himself and make sure I have enough experience. Exactly. <laughs> what is the first name of the hero in The Hobbit? Bilbo. Correct! Okay. Where did Aslan live? Not in a wardrobe. Uh, Narnia? Okay, Finn. Who invented Count Dracula? Now... Now, here's the thing with this one. Dracula is like a real dude. But if he means Bram Stoker... Okay. Because, <laughs> like... <laughs> Vlad the Impaler was a real person. <laughs> Recently released a new book? What? What should you do with a pan-galactic gargle blaster? What? Metal ability, yeah. Your sternness. You drink it? And now a riddle. Okay, so you do drink it, a gargle blaster. 
They found a lost Bram Stoker novel in the Irish Library archives like a week ago. Get fucked, really? Oh, it's from Hitchhiker's Guide. I've only seen the film. That's crazy, Nelf. Is it finished? What is the name of the only mammal that can't fly that can fly? Anything if you kick it hard enough. The only mammal that can't fly that can fly. Us? Human? Man? It was written before he did Dracula. No shit. Penguin? Can, can, can pen, penguins fly? Are they mammals? It's not a mammal. <laughs> that can't fly, that can fly. Man. Is my guess. Chicken. Oh, it was man. The can't fly that can fly. We, we can fly, but we can't fly. Just two more to go. What was the name of Roy Rogers' dog? Oh, I have no idea. Roy Rogers was, isn't he a cowboy? TV show Cowboy? Is that Yippie Kaye, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. I only know that from Die Hard. I have no idea. It could be anything. I mean, this is straight up just a trivia question. If anyone knows, knows the answer to this, I would never get this. This one, you can just tell me if you know. Bullet? It's bullet. Okay. I mean, this one in particular. Every other one I was, I was figuring out myself. Yeah, it was bullet. Okay, thank you. Are you sure you want to rescue Penelope? Yes. Thou art truly a noble and wise adventurer. Go in peace. <laughs> okay. Get out. Uh, I'm just going to save here. Riddles in the dark. Okay. Roy Rogers. Like, who the fuck knows that? Hey there. You have arrived in a passage with a room at the end. There is a large guard at the end who appears to be standing outside a kind of jail. Behind the guard, you can make out a familiar shape. It's Penelope. What have I got? Look. Pockets. Items. Okay, what have I got? A knife. <laughs> I don't have the bung. I don't have the chop. I use the oil can. I have a knife. Talk. Talk guard. He doesn't understand you. Stab guard. Fight guard. Kill guard. 
fight to the death. Stab. Kill. Fight. Blow. Seduce. Kiss. Stab. Speak. Give. Knife. What else have I got? I threw away the mask. I used the oil can. Look, oil can. Do I still have it? I do still have it. And it still contains some oil. Cover self in oil. Can't fight what you can't grab. Slippy. Pour oil. Candle. A useful looking candle. Burn the cunt. <laughs> what else have I got? Blow. Whistle. <laughs> Nothing seems to happen. Okay. What else have I got? Knife, candle, oil. Mate, he can oil himself up. Give oil. Sexy dance. Flirt with guard. Wear oil. Drink oil. Use knife. Look pockets. Look inventory. Items? What have I got? Oh! Give gold? Hand over a coin from your little bag of golden coins. He makes a gruff noise, which you assume was a thank you, and steps aside, allowing you to pass. Give gold. Congratulations! You are so glad to have rescued Penelope, you dance for joy. After cutting her ropes with your pen knife, you open the bolts of the jail door and find yourself back in the basement. From here, you trip hand in hand up the basement stairs, past the ferocious doggy, through the kitchen, and out the front door to freedom, and live happily ever after. Wait, really? Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> and that's Hugo's House of Horrors. <laughs> like, actually? <laughs> and this is why you sent me the other thing. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I've got access to Maniac Mansion. Yeah, we won. <laughs> That's Hugo's House of Horrors. Okay, <laughs> easy day. <laughs> do you reckon you can absolutely, do you think you, like you can still send anything to that address? There's no way that address is still right. Not a chance. Um, that was cute. I don't remember that. Where, cause the game that I played as a kid The game that I played as a kid, Hugo got trapped by a witch doctor. 
And I got stuck in a cave. A cage. Sorry. I got stuck in a cage and I couldn't figure out how to get out. And I... I, I yeah, that's... that's. There was nothing like that in this game. Oh, you know what? That would have been in Hugo 3 Jungle of Doom. Of course. I played 3. I just looked at the names. So I, I, I never played this. This was the first time. That was fun. Well, now we have to play the other Hugo games, right? Now we have to. <laughs> There's a fourth Hugo. It's a 3D Doom style game. Really? Well, I was going to do Maniac Mansion. Can I finish Maniac Mansion in the next uh, five hours? C64 Evil Dead won't be a full day. That's true. You go two and three now. Yeah, we beat it. Maniac Mansion's doable, but not too long. It's not too long. Um. Well, we have a few options. Valley. Um, If you take your time, it's five hours tops. It's Nightmare 3D. It kind of sucks, but you liked it. That's really interesting, though. Um. Okay. How about this? I'm going to pull up a, a poll in the Twitch chat. Uh, we'll make it a three-minute poll, and I will go for a smoke. And you guys can just vote on what we do. No worries, Fessa. <laughs> Sit tight. Get your votes in. I'll be right back. We'll figure out what we do after that. Actually, sorry. Just quick pulling, one... pulling it back. Um, whatever we do, it's going to be in a separate video. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll end this one here and we'll start up a, a, a freshie. So if you're watching this on YouTube later... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Hugo's House of Horrors. It was really fun. Silly little fucking quirky game that I enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.